Welcome to the Trash Picture Show. Today is another episode of TVation where I look at overlooked sci-fi shows and action shows from the late 90s and early 2000s. And today I'm looking at Jericho, an awesome series set in a town in Kansas in the aftermath of a nuclear holocaust in the United States. Essentially, Jericho is cut off when all the major cities and towns are hit with nuclear weapons in one weird kind of terrorist plot that seems to involve a, a domestic clandestine group. Um, the main character of the story is Jake Green who arrives back in town the day the world ends and he's essentially a prodigal son. He has a very sordid past and he's trying to redeem himself and connect with his family. Um, Another character who is pivotal to the show is uh, Robert Hawkins, a mysterious stranger who arrives into town also the same day as Jake and essentially has something to do with the nuclear weapons that went off and, and caused the a kind of nuclear holocaust in the United States. It's an interesting story. It, it's you've, you've got two major kind of plot teams going on. One is the conspiracy involving Robert Hawkins and two is the town of Jericho trying to deal with certain situations in this new post-apocalyptic world. Uh, for example, uh, a group of renegade mercenaries who were brought into police uh, certain uh, towns and cities uh, lay siege to Jericho and try to take all their supplies. There's another cool episode where um, a group of bikers are causing trouble and it's it's usually Jake and Robert Hawkins have to like team up to stop um to stop the these kind of bad guys or to stop things like crops failing and and different things and it does really show the pressure that's put on a small community when it's cut out cut off from the outside world there is some other cool characters in it Jake's father is the former mayor and he's he's like an old school kind of kind of a uh, uh, marine who who really doesn't doesn't is doesn't want to get too close to his son because they've had a rough past but he, you do see as the show progresses he does care about Jake and he loves Jake um uh, Jake's best friend Stanley is this kind of quirky farmer he's a young farmer and he's raising his uh, deaf mute sister Bonnie and he kind of is in, is put in a very hard position that he's one of the farmers that has to supply Jericho with the food. But he's also trying to suss out, well I have to look after myself as well. And it is interesting, there's, there's a young kind of shop clerk who also has his kind of fortune reversed. His parents are killed when they're, they're in one of the cities and he is literally looked after by the shop owner. And when she dies, he ends up becoming the owner of the store and becomes one of the most powerful people in Jericho. Um, the cast is great. Uh, Skeet Ulrich as uh, Jake is awesome. Um, he does the kind of brooding loner thing a bit too much. And and um, I do love when he comes back, the characters are like, oh, you're not that guy anymore. And he's like, I'm not that guy anymore. And it, it does get silly, but he is still a cool character. You do get to see a very kind of um, cool arc. The character goes from a very introvert person to someone who cares about his community. And does he's done some shady stuff. He It's hinted that he was... A, a, a mercenary, a, a private security contractor in Afghanistan and he's living with PTSD and his father recognises that and that's kind of one of the things that kind of repairs the relationship that uh, Jake is suffering from something that his father can identify with. Uh, Lenny James who you might know from uh, The Walking Dead is brilliant as Robert Hawkins. He's this kind of go-to guy he's obviously I don't want to go too much into uh, detail because I don't want to spoil the show on you but uh, he's 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 a man with a lot of skills and he, he's pretty cool and 
you don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy and the cool thing is with his character he doesn't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy he doesn't know if he's doing the right thing the main thing he is trying to do is protect his family and little by little he does realize look in order to protect my family i have to protect this community and in order to protect the community i'm gonna have to work with jake to keep uh jericho safe um the first season was awesome uh it, it it ended in a, a war with a neighbouring town. And then the second season kind of goes a lot more into Robert Hawkins' conspiracy. Um, the second season, uh, there was very few episodes in it. Because it was saved via Kickstarter, if I'm not mistaken. But alas, the show got cancelled. So, um, IDW released a comic book, Jericho Season 3, Civil War. Which sees the uh, second Civil War uh starting in the united states um the artwork leaves a lot to be desired um it's 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 not bad but it is definitely what you would call um a kind of uh tie-in movie or tv tie-in comic kind of fair the story is cool but uh the artwork does really let it down but by and large uh jericho if you're a fan of kind of post-apocalyptic things if you're a fan of the walking dead this is definitely a show to check out and it is cool there's some really cool characters uh there's some really cool engaging scenarios and there's some 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 elements and events in the show that would make you think jesus what would i do if i was in such a scenario and it is a cool show and i really do recommend uh jericho season one and season two Give them a look. Uh, this has been the Trash Picture Show. My name is Martin. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. And if you're a fan of Jericho or if you've seen any episodes, what's your favourite episode? Or even indeed, what's your favourite character? So, yeah. Have a good one. Take care. Bye now.